How's it going today everybody and welcome back to Shaner's Mechanic Life. I got a 2009 Ford F-150 Platinum here. Complaint is check engine light on. It's got P0012, P0022 camshaft position timing as well as P0341 and P0346 camshaft position sensor circuit range performance as well as the noise coming from the engine compartment. It's got the 5.4 liter V8. It sounds like the timing chain's trying to get out of it. Now a little bit of history on this one. It's got just over 250,000 miles on it and it's uh, gone way too long between oil changes more than once. Now as you can hear this noise comes and goes. If you look at the oil, so this is the oil that came out of it. It's got about 7,500 miles on its oil change and it's about a liter low. So all I'm going to do to this one is give it an oil change with some good clean oil, new oil filter, clear the codes and take it for a good long drive, rescan it and see how that affects your problem. If this works, it's just going to prove the point how important regular oil changes are as well as using a good quality oil. These variable cam timing engines rely on oil pressure and oil to change the valve timing and a lot of the control solenoids have screens in them and if they get plugged up with gunk and old oil and it's just sludge going to reduce oil flow and affect the cam, cam timing on these engines. These are your variable cam timing BCT solenoids. I didn't have any in stock so I just kind of pulled up a picture so I could show you what I'm talking about. So you'll have one of these on every bank of your engine. So if you got a V6 or V8 you'll have two of them. If you got a four cylinder you'll just have one. And these are the screens I was talking about. It's just a very very fine mesh. If you're gone too long between oil changes or you got a bunch of sludge or debris in your oil, these screens will get plugged up and your solenoid is not going to work properly. Therefore, your variable cam time is not going to work properly. So, when that system starts acting up, make sure your oil level is fine, make sure it's clean. And if you do decide to flush the oil, I usually just go with just regular oil changes. Do a few of them back to back at short mileage intervals. You know, you start using uh, oil flush additives and stuff like that, especially on a high mileage engine. You might just stir up more debris and cause even more problems. When you're doing the back to back oil changes like I did, you want to actually go out and drive the vehicle, not just let it sit there and idle. Because you want to make sure these solenoids are moving in and out, and your variable cam timing is going advanced and retarded. You just you want to make sure everything's moving, nice clean oils getting through to everything and cleaning all that junk out. You want to make sure you use the right weight oil. Use what it says on the oil cap. After all, if you put the oil in it is way too thick, it's going to be just as bad as debris and restricting these screens. The manufacturer designed it and engineered it to run with that oil, so you want to stick with something like that. If you go with oil that's too thick, it may actually amplify your problem because it's start up that oil is thicker and it's going to take longer to get to these moving parts. And after what ended up being two oil changes back to back, this is how the oil is now. Well, we're on the fourth morning. Let's start it up and see how it sounds. Well, definitely did not hear any kind of rattle on startup. Let's scan it and see what the, if there's any codes. See if anything's pending, which means uh, Caesar might be a problem, but hasn't met the criteria yet. And there is nothing pending. I think we're good to go. Well, I've driven it around for a few days. Ran it through a few heat cycles. There's no clatter on startup anymore, no check engine light, 
and that horrible noise is gone. Just goes to show that keeping up with your regular maintenance is the best thing you can do for a vehicle. In fact, the first step in troubleshooting these VCT systems with the cam phasers and stuff like that is make sure your oil level is full and your oil is clean. You know, cutting costs by skipping oil changes. Sure, you might save some money in the short term, but long term, it's just going to cost you nothing but money. Just want to end this video by thanking my subscribers. I really appreciate it. Well, I hope this video saved someone a trip to the shop and a ton of money. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Hit that like button and subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified when I get more videos coming out. Anyway, that's it for tonight everybody. Have a good night and thanks for watching.